Hi, it's Jane, and I have a second round of channel shout-outs for you for February. All right, let's get into it. The first channel is Kimberly with Knit for Brains. Um, she is a self-taught knitter and crocheter, but she's kind of into anything having to do with fibers. She is also a weaver, the gateway craft drug from knitting and crocheting. There are a lot of those. We have loads of fun who wants to make, take themselves too seriously anyway. She does tutorials, whips, loads of unboxing, as well as trying to unravel, pun intended, all the fun facts about knitting and crochet. She tries to post weekly, and she, would love, she loves to be very engaged with her subscribers. We're all friends here, aren't we? Then there is Wild Poppy Designs. This is Caitlin, and it is a crochet channel. Then there is Annette Triple A Yarn. Um, Annette has a strong passion for crocheting and knitting. She loves to make her own designs. She really enjoys creating, and she hopes that you will give her support in creating her dreams come true. Um, she gives us the journey of her designing and or crafting. She also sells the products she makes. So, check her out. Then there is Lauren Riley, and I believe it is a crochet channel and possibly a knit channel. I think I saw a couple of knit videos in there, but don't quote me. Then there is the Mindful Creators. Um, this is Fem, and she is the face behind the Mindful Creators, a place for knitters and crocheters from all around the world that want to become a part of this cozy community. Um, she does have quite a few links she, um, down below, so check her out. Then we have Rosie's Knitting Shed. Um, this is where she is going to talk about her yarny explorations in knit. Then we have Four Leaf Clover Diaries. This is a travel, eat, create, and a crochet channel. Then there is Lala Loves Crochet. Do you know what she does? She crochets. <laughs> Check her out. Then there is Alexa Brown. She likes to read, crochet, and craft. Then we have Danica. It is a crochet and knit channel. Then there is Alexa Carey. This is a crochet, knit, sewing, textile designer and artist. She is the creative director of Material Girls. Then we have Victoria Zip. This is a knit uh, crochet channel from Uruguay. She also, under her um, about information, says craft and chaos. Isn't that what happens when we go down that crafting journey? tunnel, whatever. Then there is Jade Lang, and her channel is um, spelled Z-H-A-D-E, but it is pronounced Jade. A wise person once said the best time to knit a sweater was three months ago, but the second best time is now. It is a knit and crochet channel. Then we have Michelina, she is a, she loves to knit, sew, and crochet. Then we have Brenda Tan. Um, this is her YouTube sis, just living her best life, um, mostly about her life, but there is some crochet as well. Then we have Mandy Vaughn Knits. This is Mandy, and she hopes that you will join her on her journey to knit crochet, or machine knit all the garments. She loves a challenge and is not afraid to journey off the beaten path with her crafting. So watch as she makes mistakes, learn and grows in creating garments with yarn. Don't we all do that? Yeah. Next channel is Paige Elizabeth. Paige is creating book has inspired chaos and crochet. Then we have Katagon. Kat is from New Zealand. She uploads art, vlogs, and other creative inspiration content. She has studio vlogs centered around her crafts, including personal adventures, as well as days focused on designing and making products to sell. She likes to focus on her content being relaxing, satisfying, inspirational, and motivational. We all need a little pick-me-up now and then. 
every now and then, so this could be the place for it. I hope that you find some inspiration and enjoyment from the videos that I make, and if you do, she would appreciate you becoming a subscriber. She has a beautiful channel. I hope you check it out. Then there is Real Men Craft 2. Welcome to Real Men Craft 2. I'm Richard. In here, you will share my love of all things arts and crafts. He is the owner and creator of RK Originals Jewelry and has been an avid creator for over 50 years. Just a few of the things he will be doing there is beading, beaded jewelry, diamond painting, crochet, cross stitch, punch embroidery, all things Halloween, and so many other things that he has come to love and teach. And he has been lucky enough to create special pieces for celebrities such as Marie Osmond, Loretta Swit, Katie Seagal, and others. Let's get crafting. Welcome aboard, and remember, as my mother and grandma always told me, real men craft too, Richie. So I hope you will join Richard on his journey. Then there is Yavette Renee. This is crochet. It's a lot about a, a lot of other things, but she did a, if I remember correctly, she did a haul on Crochet Society box, which she considers one of the best, best crochet boxes around. So um, it was a very interesting video to see. She is a quilter, vlogger, and kitty mom. Her favorite quilting technique is foundation paper piecing. I did that once. Didn't like it. But then again, I don't understand it. So that may be why I didn't like it. Maybe I need to spend a little more time on it. Her name is on the marquee, but the real star of the show is Jelly Bean, her furry sidekick. And Jelly Bean gets in on the action. Then there is Made by Alina. She sews, crochets, and she likes making clothes. She does some other stuff, but then again, that's not what you're here there here for, is it? You'd be surprised what we're here for. Then there is Morgan Handmade. This is Knit Crochet. This is Morgan. Welcome to her cozy corner. Then we have BZ Crochets. I didn't get a first name, but she really likes crocheting, and she does a good job at it. Then there is Tina's Book and Craft Corner. Tina is 18 years old, and she's going to be making bookish videos, which might also include some crafting, because she is a crocheter, and she likes to get into more crafts. She does mostly cozy mysteries and Nora Roberts books, but that could change at any time. Isn't that true? Our tastes change all the time. I plan on vlogs, so read with her and do some monthly wrap-ups, probably. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I will tell you, I started out with cozy mysteries. I did, as I called them, the historical romances, or hysterical romances. Um, when I started out reading books, I was all into uh, Barbara Cartland books. And let me tell you, that is formulated writing. Basically, all you do is change the names, the area. It's always the same thing. You know, there's a woman, there's a man she's forced to get a couple with, you know, to, to marry or whatever. They don't. They don't like each other. There's a lot of angst between them. There's a bad guy that always comes in and tries to make the moves on the girl. The fellow she's meant to be with comes in and saves the day. They fall in helpless love. You know, same thing. Same story, different situations. So, yeah, I got started that way, and then I got into Cozy Mysteries. Haven't turned back. So I hope you'll enjoy her channel as well. Then there is Emma One one warrender this is emma she makes crochet vitur, vit, crochet videos for tutorials clothing styling accessories and more then there is also amaya's realm i hope i'm saying that correctly this is crochet explore her world of creative exploration fiber art fashion travel and more so, check her channel out. Then there is Jasmine Calix. Um, this is Jasmine, and her crochet journey began in January of 2023. She's pretty good at it. 
Um, join her on this channel for engaging crochet tutorials, insights into the business aspects of crocheting, and a variety of exciting content. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're as passionate as crochet about crochet as she is. And I am. I subscribed. Then there is Finja's Arts and Crafts. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Being creative is fun. Sharing it with others makes it even better. She does all sorts of arts and craft things on her channel. She collects arts and crafts, hobbies, and it's getting out of hand. Someone help me. Stained glass, painting, embroidery, knitting, crocheting, sewing, and even more. She just loves to be creative. Welcome to the maze of crafting. Then we have Hans Design, or it may be Hans C Designs. This is Moa. It is crochet madness from your favorite fake knitting. Swede. I love her channel. It, I think you'll enjoy her. Then there is Creations by Courtney. This is Crochet Garment, an accessory designer for all body types that are stylish, comfortable, and practical. I have watched a few of her videos. I do plan on watching more of them um, because I do have a little bit of beef with fashion designers for crochet and knitting. I'll get into that in a little bit at the end. Then there is Three Fates Design. This is Victoria and it is beading. And it is beautiful beadwork. Then there is Girl Meets Yarn. This is Mary Lisa. Now, she is a wife, empty nester, proud mom to her dogs, Mimi and Gringo, and their new cat, Fiona. You can expect lots of knitting, conversation, sewing smackdown, cooking shenanigans, thrifting all the teacups, home improvement, among other crafts she likes to explore and share in her videos. What got me started watching her videos was a video titled, Three Dollar Thrift Find. She turned that $3 afghan into a jacket for her daughter, sewing it. It's rather interesting the way she did it, so I hope that you will check that out. Then there is Crafty Turtle, Crochet and Knit. Um, this is Shay, or Shy. This is Crochet along with her. Find, you're going to find pattern tutorials, crochet, crochet technique, crochet stitch techniques. Find out what sells when it comes to handmade products. She is on a mission to help you find joy and explore the creativity through crocheting and knitting. This is a space to share crochet and circular knitting techniques and projects with you and she hopes that it brings you inspiration and also to share a mutual joy of crafting. If you're like me, you probably love yarn too. I have more then I have time to crochet. Yeah, that's why I'm doing the scorch down. Stay crafty, be curious, and keep creative. Our last channel is Craft and a Cuppa. This is Kelly. She is just a Norfolk gal who loves to squish brightly colored yarn. Come along on her crochet journey where she likes to waffle on a bit and also crochet while we're in crew wearing the crochet, or if you're super lucky, her dressing gown. If you don't take yourself too seriously and enjoy watching someone who is the same, then you are absolutely in the right place. She is a funny gal. Now, she is also learning to knit. She does tutorials. However, she says they're not tutorials. They are. Um, she teaches you how to do certain things that are step-by-step but then she also teaches you how to make it your own. Now, that is where I am going to come in and talk about some things that crochet designers do, knitwear as well, and that is when they make a pattern, they make it for a certain size or two sizes, but they want it to go for all sizes across the board, including us plus sizes. So they scale them up 10%. Well, that's dangerous, and I'll tell you why. Even though we are bigger in girth, and normally 10% will accommodate all of us, 
10% in the length of a, of a sleeve makes us look ar like orangutans. And a lot of designers are guilty of this. So um, I wish that they would use that 10% to create those larger patterns for us. But then they would also teach you a little bit about how to make it fit for you. That changed the battery. Sorry. I would hope that they would also include in there ways to teach you how to make it work for you. Um, too many times they don't tell you to make sure that you've measured your arm from your shoulder all the way down to where you want it to fall on your wrist, as well as measuring your body from here down to where you want it to fall on you. Now, this is a sweater that I made. It is one by Sorella called the Everyday Cardigan. It is meant to be a longer cardigan, but because she used the 10% rule in upsizing, when I originally did the sleeve, it hung down almost to down below my knee. And I wasn't really paying attention. I was just knitting, going along, I'm knitting, crocheting it along, wanting, you know, to match the pattern. And I realized when I went to put that sleeve on that it was way too long. I'm not an orangutan. So, I would hope that in those, somewhere in those um, patterns, they would also tell you to make sure you know your own measurements so that you can shorten it if you need to, um, not do as many rows for the sleeves because it can get you into trouble. Now this one I did go ahead and do it a lot of the way that it was. I left it as long as it wants. It comes down below my knees but I like it because it's more like a robe than just a sweater or cardigan so I do enjoy that. Um, I did leave the sleeves a little bit longer but then that's because I've rolled them up twice on the sleeves and that's fine for me because I want it to be a really warm and cushy sweater for me and today it's coming in handy because today we are getting snowmageddon um, and I think supposedly we're getting up to six inches tonight and possibly eight additional four to eight overnight so yeah I am enjoying the cushiness of it without having to turn the fireplace on so that is my big beef with a lot of designers when they use that 10 percent rule they don't they don't really tell you in the patterns how to make sure that you are measuring your arm length, your waist length, those kind of things. And I think they should do a better job of doing that. All right, that's it, guys. As always, be kinder to yourself this year. Be kind to one another. Love one another. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.